everybody welcome back to a, another video this is another loot video now excuse my hair I just got out of the shower so if it looks wet and um, not cooperative that's why but if you couldn't tell from the title I have a mother brick ton of uh, new movies and uh, games. Well, I technically I only have two video games to show off, but I have a crap ton of movies to show off from my collection, uh, uh, including some last minute things of something that I don't remember if I showed off, so I'm going to show off just a little bit, and two surprise gifts that I got, and that's freaking cool. Alright, so without further ado, let's get right into what we have. Now, the first thing I have is the thing that I'm not sure if I've already shown off before. It is this Ditto uh, Pokemon Go or Pokemon Mega Blocks uh, thing. Um, you guys can actually see now that I have the spinning plate, and it's very cool. It's very um, it's very cool. It's got a bunch of different speeds. It's got a mirror attached to it and everything, but. Uh, I'll talk about that some other time, but yes, this is a build your own ditto now This will probably be in a future video. I just don't know what it's going to be Something keeps popping up on my phone saying that an app isn't working even though I'm not even using the app. I'm recording So it's very annoying Next thing I have which I'm not gonna do a 360 view on just because I don't want to right now It is this Adventure Time Hawaiian shirt which looks absolutely amazing. I very much like it. It's got Finn and Jake all over it and the Adventure Time logo. It is truly an amazing gift that I will definitely have to wear a whole bunch. And yeah, it is very cool. Next one I have is another Hawaiian type shirt uh, or Hawaiian kind of shirt, I guess, but instead of Adventure Time, I'm trying to find the front of it, there it is, it is Spongebob. Now, as you can see right there, that there is Spongebob and Patrick all over it. Um, here's a better look at what Spongebob looks like, and then here's a better look at what Patrick looks like. It's very cool. It popped up again. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell, phone? Um, but anyway, now that those three things are done and out with, let us look at the new movies I have. Um, I'm debating if I want to start with the... You know what, I'll just start with the movies, like the actual movie movies. Uh, first one I have, which is the only Blu-ray, which I have, which is kind of odd, but to be fair, uh, Blu-rays and DVDs being sold together are kind of hard to find nowadays, which I think is really weird. Uh, this is Sony, the Sony movie of Madam Web. Now, this movie I just finished watching today, and you guys should be seeing a video made on it. Probably not very soon, because the way I want to edit it is going to be very, very different than past Marvel uh, tier list videos. But yeah, I got the Madam Web movie, and I think it's really cool. It popped up again. I don't know what the hell is going on. But, yeah, that's the only Sony Marvel movie that I have. Technically the only Sony Marvel movie. Uh, the other things I have are the TV shows, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, next we have another movie. This is a video game adaptation of a... Or a movie adaptation of a video game. Goddamn, I don't know why that was so hard to say. This is the Monster Hunter movie. My backdrop just went so dark there we go this is the monster hunter movie you guys are seeing a better look of it um it's very cool it's very cool the disc inside is quite bland but to be fair it's a dvd that's of a movie that's been out for years so of course they're not going to make too many things of it uh next one is a three pack this is of King Kong, King Kong vs. Godzilla, and King Kong Escapes. Now, I've never watched any Godzilla or King Kong movies, so this will have to be a pretty cool watch. I honestly don't know uh, what it's going to be like, 
and you may or may not see a video about it. I honestly don't know. Uh, the next thing I have is a complete, uh, <clears throat> all, a complete collection of five mini movies made back in the day of Wallace and Grummet. Now, this is the Wallace and Grummet, the complete crackling collection. This has A Grand Day Out, The Ron Trousers, The Close Shave, uh, A Matter of Loaf and Death, and Crackling Compassions. I think that's how you say it. Com Contraptions, my bad. It's very cool, and it's all five of them put onto one disc. And... I may or may not make a video on it. I probably won't. This will probably be something that I'll just watch by myself. But who the hell actually knows? Uh, I'm crazy, so who knows? Going from one cool childhood thing to another, I have the complete series of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Now, if you don't know what Rocky and Bullwinkle is, uh, I'm sorry, but you just had a different childhood than I had. Rocky and Bullwinkle is a cartoon that came out way way before i was born and it has the adventures of so many different things like peabody and sherman this is where peabody and sherman first showed off or was first showed off and uh it has <clears throat> all five seasons in it along with 163 episodes of the entire series with god knows how many discs in here i'm gonna have to look through it there's also a huge episode guide, which is really cool and handy. It's like a little booklet that comes inside. It's got some very ni nice artwork on the back that you guys are probably looking at. And yeah, it's just really cool. It's also very heavy. It's a very hefty thing. But to be fair, it's five seasons with 163 episodes, <laughs> plus bonus features, which I think is absolutely crazy. And... Yeah, it's just, it's crazy. Uh, moving on to the next TV shows that I have. These are, of course, the Marvel TV shows that I was alluding to earlier. This is actually the uh, Disney Plus series um, that I have here. The first one I'll show off is the Steel Book of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It's very cool. Also, I like how the paper kind of just like flaps out and just instead of just being stuck so that way you guys can see the artwork behind it and in the actual thing you got two different discs which obviously look pretty cool and are stylized after the um, <clears throat> characters in the show but also from what I'm seeing here it comes with a bunch of little cards that I'm not going to show off now I'll show off when uh, you guys are actually looking at it and if you guys want to see my reactions to them, I'm just going to cut straight to it. So here's the cards. Hello, this is Future Tom here for a reaction to the cards that were inside, like these little concept cards, I'm pretty sure, that were inside the steel books that obviously past me just showed off. All right, looks like we got a good number of little cardboard cards or something. I'm not really sure. The first one we have here looks like when Captain, or the new Captain America, Sam Wilson, gets his new suit and is heroically going down after the final fight with, I believe it was, it's been a while since I watched the series, so I don't remember what they were going down, what he was going down for, but this was after he saved the, like the, the politician's lives, I remember, and then he was like giving them the talking to. But yeah, that's the first card. Second one we have, ooh, is John Walker when he was being introduced to the world as the brand new Captain America during that marching band scene. This looks pretty cool. I like the art style that they have with this. Um, next one we have is, ooh, this one's actually really thick too. This one's a lot thicker than this. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you could tell, but yeah, the next one we have is when the... I forget how to say it specifically. The Dormelage, I think is how you say it. The It's basically the Wakandan army uh, busting into uh, John Walker, Sam Wilson, Bucky, and Baron Zemo when they were in that little... Um... <clears throat> were they in an abandoned warehouse or were they in a hotel? I don't remember. It's been a good while since I watched this show. 
but I remember it was pretty good. And I remember this fight scene being absolutely amazing. But yeah, I have to say these cards, pretty cool. It's kind of a, it's a very nice bonus to get with the, uh, to get with the, um, uh, the steel book. But yeah, I've already talked for a little bit too long. So I'm going to hand it back over to past me. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you in just like maybe a few seconds. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, past or future me. Uh, thank you for giving your reaction and your th thoughts on the cards. And yeah, honestly, pretty cool. I'm kind of glad that I picked this up. Um, I also picked this up around the same time that I got this next one, which weirdly enough, the cardboard thing fell off of. Um, this is the Moon Knight Steelbook. Now, this is very cool. I love the art on the back that it has Khonshu and stuff. Um, it's very nice. This one also comes with stylized cards. So after we do this big 360 view of me talking and stuff, um, me showing off the discs and everything, here's my reaction to the cards. Let's cut straight to that. Hello everybody, Future Tom again. I'm here with the Moon Knight cards now, but I've already opened them, so that way not to bore you with all the annoying stuff. But yeah, I'm assuming there will be three cards with this. Same with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier one. But the first one you can see here is when Khonshu and Amit were in their giant form, their kaiju form, having this huge battle that no one else could see. And you can kind of tell that because Amit is see-through right there, and you can see the pyramids. Uh, same with Khonshu. That's probably their way of showing that in the art no one would actually tell that they were fighting and honestly this is probably the coolest thing i've seen all day um next one we have ooh, is some concept art for the scarlet scarab now i remember her name being anya i believe it's anya or maybe it was leia um editing me please put <laughs> in the font right here what her actual name was but yeah this was uh uh Oscar Isaac's character's girlfriend. I believe his name was Mark Spector, but then there was also um, his other personalities. I don't remember exactly, but I remember it was Mark who was in love with this woman who became the Scarlet Scarab. But that's some pretty cool art. Next one we have is, of course, Mark Spector as Moon Knight. This is badass looking. This looks like when he. I don't remember, I think this is when he was stalking that rich dude, um, but I don't remember. But this is some really cool art of him just standing in front of the moon, which of course, that's how Moon Knight has his powers, is because of the moon and stuff. And I have to say, this is pretty cool. Again, I'm going to say that having these cards as a bonus for getting the uh, Steelbook is absolutely amazing, and Marvel should keep doing this. Um, I don't remember if the WandaVision and Loki ones that I have had these, but these are pretty cool. Um, anyway, uh, let's p hand it back over to past me. Goodbye, everybody. Hello and welcome back. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed those cards for the Moon Knight Steelbook. Um, if you didn't, I'm sorry. You skipped ahead for no reason. Um, but last things last, I have the two video games that I bought that are 100% going to be added into a future series somewhere in the future. Um, they're both, of course, Nintendo games. Uh, the first one I have, I'll start with the oldest game first, and then I'll do the one that just came out. The <clears throat> Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now, this is a game that came out originally for the Wii U, and... Uh, ultimately had mixed reviews a lot of people loved it a lot of people hated it for me I have never played it so I don't know and this is the switch version not the Wii U version so it might be better it might be worse I actually have no idea um, I bought it because of this man down here at the bottom of the case the Fury Bowser and then the Giga Cat Mario I think that will be an amazing gameplay mechanic that I can't wait to explore and stuff but who actually knows? <clears throat> the next game I'm going to show off is a game that came out this year. Um, of course, I'm talking about uh, not any Mario game, though it is a Mario character, and it's not Donkey Kong. It's Princess Peach. This is the Princess Peach Showtime game. 
Now, this is the first Princess Peach game that came out, I believe, in over 15 years, which is insane to think about and kind of crazy how Nintendo doesn't really care besides Mario and Luigi. Like, Mario and Luigi's had their plenty of games. Like, Luigi's had the Luigi Mansion series and stuff, but like Princess Peach, not so much. Uh, I don't really know why, and even it even like even if we talk about other Mario characters, like Princess Peach, who hasn't been in a mainline Mario game since forever ago, up until Marvel or Mario Wonder, is absolutely crazy to me. Like they don't really seem to care very much. But to be fair, who really knows? Um, and don't even get me started on War Luigi and how he doesn't have a game yet and has only appeared in the multiplayer games like Mario Kart, Mario Party, and the sports Mario games. Like, the dude deserves his own game. He's a fan favorite. Like, why aren't you making a game for him? It's even, like, even if they make a bad game, it'll be a huge cash grab because people absolutely love War Luigi. But, yeah, that's all I have. I have too many movies, too many games, and I don't know where I'm going to put them all. Um, I'm going to have to remodel my room in order to fit all this stuff on my shelves. But as for right now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry about my stupid hair getting in the way. And I hope you guys have a good day. And love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.